I did um, take the day away from Albany today um, to be here for Ernest Davis. I have close to perfect attendance for the seven years that I've been in the State Senate. And I very, I very rarely let anything interfere with what I believe is my first obligation. But today, I think my first obligation was to be here, to be supportive of Ernest D. Davis. <laughs> Ernie tells the story that he's known me since I was 19 years old. And our families have known each other for a very long time. And in that period, those of you who know us know that we rumble. There's no question about it. We don't agree on everything. But the one thing that we agree on consistently is that Mount Vernon is one of the best cities you could ever live in. And so to that end, to that end, um, I support him 150%. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why because as somebody who is in state government and watches how municipalities have come to the state and asked for additional monies for everything and a sundry, to be able to look at this city as somebody who came here as a city council person in 1994 and to have the mayor follow in 95 when this city was bankrupt, there was less than $400,000 in our reserves. One lawsuit and we would have been in very serious trouble. The mayor has taken hold of a city that was going nowhere fast. Today, there is close to $7 million in our reserves. When we talk about how we stabilize our city, and I wasn't supposed to say any of this, obviously, I, I, wasn't, I didn't plan to, but I, but I think that uh, there are a lot of people here on the eve of petitions who are equivocating. That, and that means you are not here, not there, you don't know where you are. Well, let me help you step over on the right side. Being here tonight says that this city has something that you want. Every one of us has been a taker. It is now your turn to be a giver. If you want this trough to still be available and open to you, the mayor needs your support. You heard Serefa say earlier about the smears. All of us have heard it. The one thing I'm going to ask you to do, everybody is entitled to their opinion. They just, I just don't have to hear it. And I want you to adopt that same attitude. Have your own opinion, but keep it to your damn self. Because this is my mayor. This is our mayor. And he has been our mayor. And I know that he has been good to every one of you in this room. And I don't want you to forget it. Thank you.